this, um... I know. It's so wrong. By rights, we shouldn't even be here. But we are. It's like in the great stories, Mr. Frodo. The ones that really mattered. Full of darkness and danger they were. And sometimes you didn't want to know the end. Because how could the end be happy? How could the world go back to the way it was when so much bad had happened? But in the end, it's only a passing thing. The shadow. Even darkness must pass. A new day will come. And when the sun shines, it'll shine out the clearer. Those were the stories that stayed with you. That meant something. Even if you were too small to understand why. But I think, Mr. Furrow, I do understand. I know now. Folk in those stories had lots of chances of turning back, only they didn't. They kept going. Because they were holding on to something. What are we holding on to, Sam? But there's some good in this world, Mr. Furl. And it's worth fighting for. What we need is a few good taters. What taters, Brussels? What taters, huh? Potatoes. Mm. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Mm. Lovely big golden chips with a nice piece of fried fish. <clears throat> Even you couldn't say no to that. Oh, yes, we could. I am no man. Now the 
journey doesn't end here. Death is just another path, one that we all must take. The grey rain curtain of this world rolls back and all turns to silver glass. And then you see it. What? And Alf? See what? White shores. Far green country into a swift sunrise. Oh. And I seem so bad. No. No, it isn't. If Aragorn survives this war, you will still be parted. If Sauron is defeated and Aragorn made king and all that you hope for comes true, you will still have to taste the bitterness of mortality. Whether by the sword or the slow decay of time, Aragorn will die. And there will be no comfort for you, no comfort to ease the pain of his passing. He will come to death, an image of the splendor of the kings of men in glory, undimmed before the breaking of the world. But you, my daughter, you will linger on in darkness and in doubt. It's night falling winter that comes without a star. Here you will dwell, bound to your grief under the fading trees. Until all the world is changed and the long years of your life are utterly spent. There is nothing for you here, only death. Do you remember the Shire, Mr. Furlong? It'll be spring soon. The orchards will be in blossom. And the birds will be nesting in the hazel thicket. And they'll be sowing the summer barley in the lower fields. And eating the first of the strawberries with cream. Do you remember the taste of strawberries? No, oh, Sam. I can't recall the taste of food. No, the, the sound of water. Shadow! 